follow me to the friggin' stage. Hey, it's serious, really, really serious tonight, because it's Merle Haggard night, Merle Haggard tribute night down at Station GHRT, down here in the boiler room, down where you get the psychedelic country experiences. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep. All right. So it's Merle, it's the Merle Haggard, I, I think, yeah, I don't know if I should call it the Merle Haggard show, I don't no. think that's right, <laughs> that. maybe, Merle Haggard night, down station GHRT, right? Yeah. And, uh, so, uh, but I meant to say, actually before that, I meant to say, people are strange, <laughs> when you're a stranger, faces look ugly even. When you're down, when you're strange, <laughs> faces look out of the rain. When you're strange, when you're strange. <laughs> uh, well, you know why I said that? Why? She doesn't know nothing about Merle Haggard. Nope. From now on, all my brain gonna be strange. Because his band is called The Strangers. Oh. Okay, so we're going to talk all about Merle. It's really interesting because you can find out oh, a bunch of heavy shit. Ooh, yes. This is the heavier side of the Merle story. I bet you this will be one of the heaviest stories told of Merle because it's in depth psychology and stuff, right? Mm. So it could be pretty cool. cool. Yeah. But until such a time as we decide to start doing that crap, it's the really big old-time radio show starring Molly in the middle and Sonny the Wonder Doggy Doo who comes on. Strong at the end. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> nice. And um, Hi coming... Huh? Heidi Ho? Heidi Ho. Yeah. Did I didn't say that? I don't think so. Heidi Ho, it's the really big old-time radio show? Yeah. Radio medicine show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> coming to you live from station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind. Yeah. Where the show always starts in five minutes. Five minutes. Show starts. Hey, show starts in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hate to get sad right at the beginning, but I'll tell you something. Merle eternally gave Bonnie Owens, mm -hmm. Buck Owens' wife. It used to be Buck Owens' wife mm -hmm. before she got with Merle. Mm -hmm. she et he eternally gave her equal credit mm -hmm. on this song. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know what? I can sort of tell. Yeah. It's a little different from Merle, right? It is. The one that she sings in the middle is a real Merle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, oh, you, we do this in G? Yep. Okay. <sighs> Remember, we got to get warmed up. Yeah. How's it start? Today, I... Are you worried? <laughs> oh, yeah. Today I started loving you again Now I'm right back where I really always been I got over you just long enough to let my heart remain And then day I started loving you again Yeah, today I started loving you again Oh, what a fool I was To think I could get by Only these few million tears I cried Oh, how was I to know Worst was yet to come That crying time Me just begun And then today I started loving you again Now I'm right back where I really always been Hey, I got over you just long enough to let my heart in me And today I 
I started loving you again And then today I started loving you again And then today I started loving you again Kick back and chill out to the mellow sounds of the singing DJs down here at Station GH to the RT. It's a psychedelic experience because I go, I go from that state of mind that we were just in to talking about weird Debbie. <laughs> and it's really hard. Mm-hmm. We're the only DJs that do this stuff. Mm-hmm. So I want some credit and I want some mercy <laughs> and compassion. <laughs> Because I don't get much from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well listen. Merle's parents left uh, the Dust Bowl yeah. in the Depression. Yeah. Their farm burnt down. And I bet it was bad before that. They probably got <laughs> their farm did burn down. Yeah. And then they went to Bakersfield. And they got an apartment. And a lady gave them a boxcar. And the dad fixed the box car up and then moved into the box car and had Merle. Aww. That's probably why he liked to sing in Hobo Bill's Last Ride. Yeah. But you know, he picked the saddest of all the train songs. You know, <laughs> this guy was sad. Merle was sad. <laughs> he was a sad dad. He was born in a box car. Anyway. Whoa. Yeah. So they're in the box car there. And of course, it's Wall Street, right? Yeah. Wall Street all the way down, right? Poverty. Yeah. Bullshit, right? Yeah. That's why I'm going to say at the end, we got to continue Merle's work mm-hmm. because it, it's real bullshit. And the other thing is, his dad died uh-huh. when he was nine years old. Uh-huh. And he had terrible asthma, didn't go to school most of the time. He was sick. Yeah. Well, that stuff, if it don't kill you, it builds character. Yeah. But it also builds tremendous holes and sadness yeah. down inside. Yeah. Well, that's part of Merle's perfect storm. Yeah. We all got a perfect storm. Yeah. Fortunately, he found a package deal. Highway is my home 